This tutorial is designed to help you avoid some of the common mistakes that people tend to make when using calculators to evaluate expressions. So here's an expression. This says take the quantity 4 plus 3 and square it and divide your answer by 2. Let's say that I wanted to do this on a calculator. One thing that a lot of people might do would be simply to enter these numbers into the calculator as they show up in the problem. So we might, for example, enter 4 plus 3 squared divided by 2. And when we do that, we get the answer 8.5. So the question is, is 8.5, is that the right answer? Well, if it's what our calculator told us, we think this must be right. Let's go through this problem for a minute by hand, without the calculator, and see what we find. Order of operations tells us that we need to evaluate the expression inside the parentheses first. 4 plus 3 is 7. Then, order of operation tells us we need to apply exponents. 7 squared is 49. And 49 over 2 is not going to be 8.5, is it? What's going on here? 49 over 2 is going to be 24.5. So did we make a mistake when we did this out by hand? Or was our calculator, and I say this in quotes, wrong? Well, let's go back and take a look at what we entered into our calculator. So we have a what we meant to enter. And what we meant was 4 plus 3, the whole thing squared, over 2. But then there's a difference. There's what we really did. And here's what we really did. Let's take a look at what was on the screen of our calculator. What was on our calculator was 4 plus 3 squared divided by 2. That little slash there is a divided by. Let's take a look at this expression from the viewpoint of order of operations. The expression as we entered it in our calculator has no parentheses anywhere in it. So the P in PEMDAS, there's nothing to do. The next thing in PEMDAS is E, exponents. That says we have to take a look at this term here that has an exponent and evaluate it. 3 squared is 9. So now we have 4 plus 9 divided by 2. Next in PEMDAS is the M and D, the multiplication and division. We have a division problem here. 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. So now we have 4 plus 4 and a half. 4 plus 4 and a half is 8.5. So here's what happened. The calculator did exactly what we told it to using order of operations. But what we told it to do was different than what we really meant. So how do we get our calculator to do what it is that we really meant? Well, what we have to be is a little bit more precise in how we enter stuff into our calculator. First off, we want to use these parentheses. We want to open some parentheses and enter the 4 plus 3 in there. And then we want to take that whole thing and square it. Now what I would suggest you do is before you try and do the dividing by 2 in the same step, let's let our calculator do just this step for us. That gives us an answer of 49. I would recommend doing as much writing of the steps as you can and leaning on your calculator as little as possible because you can see when you do that that you're more likely to avoid mistakes of order of operations. Then you can enter the 49 divided by 2 on your calculator and get 24.5, which is in fact the correct answer for this. One other thing we want to point out about using your calculator to evaluate expressions. So a problem you might come across on a test or a homework assignment says evaluate x squared when x equals negative 2. What that means is we want to take this expression, x squared, and plug in negative 2 for it. So we want to find out, we're going to replace the x in this with negative 2. Now it matters, these parentheses that I'm putting in here matter. 
Notice that what was being squared here was x, the entire variable. And the entire variable in this case takes the value of negative 2. If in my calculator I simply enter, let me move this up so you can see the buttons that I'm pushing, negative 2, and then I square that. If that's what I enter, notice what's on the screen there, negative 2 squared. If I enter that in my calculator, the answer that it gives me is negative 4. And so you might think the value of this expression when x equals negative 2 is negative 4. But that's not right. What's wrong with this? Well, this expression here, negative 2 in parentheses squared, what this one means is negative 2 times negative 2. That's what squaring means. And when you take a negative times a negative, your answer should give you a positive. And 2 times 2 would give you 4. Down here, the second problem, what I entered into the calculator, it's really, this is like saying negative 1 times 2 squared. And the squared part happens first, and it only squares the 2. So we end up with negative 1 times 4. That's where that negative 4 comes from. So if the problem says evaluate the expression x squared when x equals negative 2, the correct answer, what you should get, is positive 4. If you're not careful of how you enter that in your calculator, it might seem that the calculator spits out the answer negative 4. To do this correctly on our calculator, we can use the parentheses again. We can open some parentheses, put negative 2 in there, and then take that whole expression and square it. And now we get positive 4, which is the correct answer.